Hey, YouTube family and friends. So, we have the first part of the cloth made. If you want, you can fold these in half. Be a little bit harder with this one with the. You can fold these in half and you can store them like so. In a napkin holder. Or you could take it one step further and make unpaper towels, which is just these with these cool little snaps so you can put them all together in a roll, paper towel roll. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna put these together and this goes with the kitchen set that I just made. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do this using probably about two or three. This is gonna be the one on the outside since it has a B on it. And I did make that B with my sewing machine and I believe I showed you that on the, another episode. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Since this is the last one, we're gonna Use an owl, A W L, owl. And I just picked up this snap kit. And the owl comes in there. I think it sits right about here. So we're using the owl. I had to replace my owl, so I already have a, a snapper. I'm gonna need a pack of snaps. And you're gonna have to follow the instructions to make this. Okay? So we're gonna go ahead and pull. Pour a few of these pieces out. You have a spike piece, like so. You have the snap, like so. And you have the back piece. You're probably going to have more spikes than anything because the spikes go inside of the snap and y'all excuse me I have a little bit of a head cold and the spike and the spike goes inside of the back side of the snap this is the snap side this is smooth on the outside that's the top part of the snap so I took my all and I pushed it through the material about where I'd like to put my snap. Now I'm going to put the spike through the hole that I made with the owl. And you see how that's coming through. And this is going to snap onto this side. So I'm going to put this piece, the rounded edge, on here like so. Now I'm going to get my tool. The flat side goes on the spike, so it goes on the round side. Then this side is going to push. Make sure you line it up. And it's just going to, you're just going to squeeze it. There you go. And you can nudge on it just to see if it's in there good. And that's where I put it on the cloth. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Pushing through the awl. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to push the... Excuse me, I dropped it. I'm going to push the spike part through. this through some more okay okay now now we got it okay sometimes it can be difficult to get it to come all the way through okay I'm using that smooth edge that we use on this side 
right here. I'm gonna put the black part on the dark part, the spiky one. And we're gonna just squeeze. Same thing. Bam and bam. And for now, since this is the last one, I'm not gonna put anything on this side for now. But what I would advise you to do, piece, lay it flat, take the other side, line it up to where you'd like to see this one on the outside, okay? Some of your cloths may be a little longer or shorter, just slightly irregular, that's fine. I think this side will look better here. Okay, so I'm going to use that opposite side on this one. It's going to be this piece right here. So I'll take this, lay it to the side. I'm going to get two of these, two spikes. I'm going to poke my owl through on this side. Excuse me, sorry guys. All I'm doing is pushing through the spike. I'm putting the top part on the spike. Now I'm gonna take this, the black part goes on the back side, that goes on the front. Make sure it's lined up good. Let's squeeze with both hands, make sure it's in there good. And it is. And I'm going to do this one. And I like to put them close to the corner. To me, it just looks nice. Er. the same thing as far as pushing it through and I have <laughs> use your nails but my nails are so fragile I do not have thick strong nails so I push through that way and we'll put that part on and I slip that on fingers under there All right, so we got both sides on. Take your time with this. You can get these off if you put them on wrong, but I'm gonna tell you, it's a challenge. It's a challenge to do. Okay, so this is what that looks like so far with the snap. I like using the smaller ones because sometimes I make big ones, like one whole napkin. A big. They don't look as neat to me. I think if you take the towel and you cut it in forks, it just comes out a lot better. Okay, so I'm gonna keep these laying down. Remember I told you it's a lot easier to do it this way. Okay, okay. so I have the other piece and I just have these stacked in alternating colors. So all I have to do is pull from the top and move to the side. This one's going to overlap on top of that one. My blue is slightly bigger. Okay. So I'm going to be using a spike. I'm going to put the two that I'm using to the side right here. Spike. And then one of these rounded piece. And I'm going to do the same thing. Put the hole in it. The all. Push that through. Put that on and it gets faster and you'll be able to 
do this in no time. Same here at the bottom. Put your mouth in. Push that through. One ridge bit to the side. Squeeze. That side is done. Just move it out the way. Put your hole there. And two that I need are these. So I'm going to set them to the side. I'm just going to two spikes to the side too. Now, this side, the spike goes on the back side of the cloth. flat spike part on the bottom on the black, the other part on the top where the press is, and then we're going to do the other side. Then we're going to put this one on top. squeeze. I'm just going to check them to make sure they don't come right off and they look okay. Then you just put your snaps on. One right there. One right there. So now you get three. And then you just keep on until it's done. I'll show you the finished.